this video, we will be taking a look at some of the most brilliant ideas ever. Some of these you might not have ever seen. You're going to just want to use these in your daily life. Uh -huh. I know I am going to want to do that, babe. Are they, have, you, have you ever seen anything like this where you're just like, wow, I'm doing that? Uh, I'm sure I have, but nothing comes to mind. I don't know why I just said mine so loud. Yeah, I don't know. But let's go look at these brilliant ideas that we wish we do every day. I am so confused. Does every set of sheets have this? Oh, is that what that is? I was like, yeah. is this a shirt? I'm, I was confused. You wouldn't know. I was we confused. We all know how often you do laundry. Really? But yeah, this is a very good idea yeah. because when you make your bed, you always have to turn the thing, flip it around, flip it the other way, and you're like, it's still not even right. This is a sign. And you do it that way and it's still backwards. And then you get really mad and you say, after I'm sleeping on the floor. I feel like, like, why can making your bed be one of the most frustrating things ever? Mm -hmm. And putting the fitted sheet on is like the worst. So if every single fitted sheet had this, that would be very helpful. It would. It would. Big time. Big time. Oh, dang. This is good for all the clean freaks out there that want a clean pen. All they have to do is stick the pen in this little machine and it cleans it for them. Seems a little much. No, if you're scared of germs, then it's not. Why don't you just get like hand sanitizer? Because it's just a convenient thing, Andrew. It seems like a waste of technology. No, you're just nasty and don't care about your hygiene. True. Okay, now this is dope. Wait, is that, this a plane? That literally would be so cool. Is this a plane or yeah, a bus? Yeah, no, a plane? it's a plane. Whoa, whoa. I was uh, once on a plane. I don't know what airline. I can't remember. But it must have been a brand new plane. And it had like the neon lights. It was sick. But that. That would be so cool. Like imagine you take a red eye. It's like, you know, a super long flight. And you're just trying to get catch some Zs. And then all of a sudden this Zen, you know, thing. Yeah pops up, yeah. it would just be like so much more relaxing. It would. I definitely want this. It almost put me to sleep right there. Oh, baby. All right, if you guys don't know what's going on here, they have a box of pizza. And you know, boxes of pizza are pretty big and they can't fit in a bag. But this one here is specifically designed so the corners go outside the bag so it lays in the bag perfectly. But then again, who has trouble carrying a <laughs> one box of pizza? But maybe if you had like a couple boxes, then that would make more sense. But still, you just stack them up and boom, slide them on the, on the counter. What about like a like a takeout box you know sometimes if you like put pick them up in the bag then they kind of like spill over and then all your food's everywhere i get i mean anything but pizza pizza really isn't that bad if you you could get 10 pizzas and you just put them on the person in the passenger seat yeah their legs might get completely fried but i don't know if you need this but for like chinese food like if you got to take yeah out that's, chinese what, that's food, what i was just saying did you not hear what i, I agree said? with you All right, so this might look like a normal shower to you because to me, that's kind of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. But in fact, this is not a normal shower. Okay. The reason this is not a normal shower is because as you see, the little temperature gauge that also turns the shower on is on the other side of the shower head. So when you're changing the temperature, you don't get burnt wow. to a crisp. Trying to make it a little hotter. That's but if it was me, I would like to be burnt to a crisp. Yeah. She's weird. Like, she'll take a shower, and then I'll go turn the shower back on, and the water is like 9,000 degrees. It is stupid. I like to be on fire in my showers. Literally. Now, here you might see a normal dish that you would get at a Mexican restaurant, but there is one thing that is different. Boom, right there. It is half of a crunchy shell sitting in your refried beans, so your soft, soft shell tacos don't fall inside the beans. They get all soggy and gross. See, I, I get this for people who don't like their food touching, but if it's me, I kind of like when the beans make everything soggy, so I don't know if I'd use this. <laughs> what? Oh, this is so cool. I, I don't know what this is. Are you serious? Yes. This is a drive through car wash, and that's a little soap thing. And so when cars drive through, kids or adults can like spray wi Ooh, with soap. That is a really good idea. Right? I like that. Are these, can we find these? I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's a waste of money though for the car wash. No, it's like a fun thing for kids to do. But like, are you doing it to your own car? Yeah, probably. Oh, well then yeah, Because you know, that's like fun. you like watch your car go through the car wash. Have you never been to a car wash like that? Where you get out of your car? Yeah. No. Okay. Why do you get out of your car? I'm confused. I don't get... Because like they do it all. Like you go and you park your car and then they get in your car and they do the whole car wash. It's like kind of more of like a bougie car wash. Well, that explains it because I'm not bougie as you. I'm a normal human being. 
Okay, here we have someone selling brownies. First off, $2 for a brownie. A little overpriced in my opinion. Okay, but maybe it's but, for a good cause. It looks like a bake sale. Maybe. But if you look right here, they put little labels on each brownie telling you if it's the corner, if it's the edge, if, if it's the center. But I feel like the center brownie should be at least $3. Are you serious? The center brownies are better. No, the corner brownies are better. Because then you get a little crispy, but you also get a little soft. Who wants crispy brownies? If I want crispy, I'm gonna go get a thing of corn nuts. You better leave a comment right now telling us, do you like the center brownie? Do you like the corner brownie? Or do you like the edge brownie? Which I don't really know what's the difference. Oh, the edge would just be like one edge. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I just like the one edge better. I like like a little crispiness. If you don't like the center, you need to go get help. No, you don't. It's okay. All right, so this grocery store is just trying to help out some parents. You know, you're in line, you're about to check out. The grocery store shopping has gone well. The kid has yet to throw a tantrum, but then the candy is just sitting right there at the checkout every time. And you know all those kids just try to grab the candy and the mom says, no honey, can't have that candy. And then the kid freaks out. So this grocery store put up a sign and it says, for your convenience, this checkout has no candy. I feel like that hit you real deep. It seemed like you were really passionate about it. I that. was. I kind of did get into that story. Okay, here we have a dentist office, and up top, when you're like laying back, like getting your freaking teeth done or whatever, uh, you were just staring at a normal ceiling. But here, they made a difference, or they made a change to the ceiling. <gasps> Wait, you know what I think it is? I think that that's Where's Waldo. So then you're like actually trying to search for something while you hate your life. See, I think one of my dentists had something, but it was a TV. Oh, that's cool. Mine had a sky. Mm, like sucks. clouds that sucks yeah they should have just put a plasma screen up there but just hope that plasma screen doesn't come falling yeah. down on your face <laughs> not only did you get your root canal but you also got a tv to the face that's a lawsuit waiting to happen wait this is actually brilliant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because no one can ever remember when the last time they took their medicine yep i mean i don't really have medicine like uh whatever but like when you're sick and you need like yeah, antibiotics yeah. or whatever you're like did i take it at 12 or 3 oh. Like, oh my god i have no idea am i gonna die if i take too many pills am i gonna get sick again if i don't take enough so then it's like it's terrible but that is a good idea okay so these road signs offer your road trip just a little bit of you know a mix-up it says fatigue zone. Oh, uh, so maybe that's like when you're tired, right? That's in a, funny. On a road trip. It says, keep playing trivia. It may save your life. Or it may take your life, depending on who you're playing trivia with. That's you know, true. sometimes you play trivia with some family members and you hate them because <gasps> they're too smart. Wait, it suggests to play trivia, but then it also gives you the trivia. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So it says, question, floral emblem of Queensland. Oh, oh. that's the that's a Cooktown orchid. Oh, it is. I was right. Didn't see that. Okay, here we have a short story dispenser. Pretty much, you're at the airport or whatever, and you're bored and you want to read. I don't know who would want to read. Like, that sounds horrible. Oh, you have your whatever. IPhone. You haven't read a book in like 30 years. That's what I'm saying. You're not even 30. It doesn't even That's make That's what sense. I'm saying. Who would want to read when you have an iPhone? You can play Angry Birds. Okay, well, maybe but, someone wants to read. But anyways, you go up to this thing and you push the button and out comes a short story. I wonder if this is free. Could you imagine if they make you pay for these? That would suck. That would be messed up. That has to be free. Well... Actually, you never know nowadays. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so here you have an elevator, right? But the button is not right next to the elevator. It's actually like 30 feet in front of it. So you hit the button, and then as you're walking, you don't have to stand by the elevator. But just hope you're not slow. Or maybe they just said, oh, this will be funny. And there's actually a set of elevators right next to that button. We just don't see them. Mm. All right, and then this is another elevator that has buttons on the floor. So if your oh. hands are full, then you can like hit the button. That's really cool. That's a great idea. Wow. All right, and we're gonna stick to the elevator theme apparently. This one right here has a umbrella button or a light that lights up if it's raining. So if you <laughs> couldn't look through your like window and notice it was raining or you didn't check the weather or whatever, you can find out in the elevator. I guess. I feel like we're missing something here. I kinda do too. Does it dispense an umbrella maybe? No. I don't... There you go. But there you have it. Uh, we watched or looked at a lot of things that need to be invented everywhere uh, or be around everywhere, like the elevator buttons, the elevator light-up buttons, a lot of elevators. People really like the elevator inventions. But uh, my personal favorite, probably the brownies maybe, because if they're charging the same for the center brownie as the edge, that's a steal. Mm-hmm. That's a steal. But $2 for a brownie seems a little steep. But that should be, that should, that should be. But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. <sighs>
Bye. I'm running out of outro ideas. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. What is up with you yawning? It's because we're waking up early now and my body's not used to it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>